Welcome back to the Grow It Free Training Series. I'm Pranima Vijay Shankar, the founder of Femgineer, and today I'm joined with Ritika Puri, who is one of the lead instructors for our upcoming Grow It course. If you haven't checked out our previous lessons, I highly recommend you watch them and then watch this. In this lesson, we're going to be covering the third mistake that a lot of founders make, which is investing in the wrong channel. Now, Ritika, again, you and I have seen a lot of founders, actually ones who are really excited about marketing and want to try every single channel, but then at the end of the day, they don't have a single channel that actually works. So walk us through why this happens. And it's it's easy because there's, there's a lot of options right. available and it's really easy to try all of them. And as a result, spread yourself too thin. So you're not investing the time in thinking through why a channel is working and making it better for you. Yeah. So what could our viewers who are founders do instead? Talk to your customers, figure out what channels they're using naturally and start focusing on those. Pick one or two, maybe even three. Focus all of your attention there because think about it. You're investing, you're, you are your bookkeeper. You're building your product. You're doing everything with your business at this stage. It's better to do one thing really well and spread yourself too thin. Yeah. And the other thing I've noticed that happens is a lot of times we pick a lot of channels, but we don't really understand the mechanics behind the channel. And so as a result, we can be pretty far gone, either spending thousands of dollars or, you know, tons and tons of time. So how do you take the time to figure out whether the mechanics make sense for the channel that you're going after. Run a really small experiment. Mm -hmm. And I'll give you an example here. Yeah. So I came across a company a couple years ago, very early stage startup based in New York. They were a subscription delivery service. And they, the founders both had full-time jobs and were so excited to launch their side business. They invested very heavily in PR and they... They were picked up by major news outlets, got a lot of traffic for maybe a month, and then silence after that P that warm PR push uh, trailed off. So what happened? Well, it, came, it comes to consistency. As early stage founders, they, they thought, okay, we, we need to do PR because everyone says that we need to do PR. But what they what they really could have done in tandem or what they should have done instead was maybe focus on one or two channels that they could grow over time to be a sustainable source of customers for their business. Yeah. And I know PR is very expensive. At my first startup, mint.com, we were spending anywhere from twenty to $30,000 just in PR. Yeah. And we fortunately had the funding to make that happen. But if you don't have that amount of funding, then it doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. So Finding the channels, like you said, that you can invest in consistently. Do you have a couple examples you can maybe share with our viewers of one channel that's great to try out consistently? Well, maybe maybe I'm a little biased toward yeah. you, but, but content. Yes. Um, so obviously content isn't for everyone. Maybe, maybe you're not a writer. Maybe you're not a creator. And that's totally fine. But if you are and you consider yourself very strong in these areas, you could literally, after this lesson, go sit down, write a blog post, publish it on Medium and share it with your friends, all of a sudden you have an instant audience. So it's a very, very low barrier way to get up and running. Um, Facebook is another example. Um, you can head on the platform and maybe spend $200, $300 to start gathering insights. And I, I have an example here too, if you'd like to sure. share. So there was a company uh, called Mighty Handle, very early stage startup with no marketing budget. And they were working on a pilot test to launch their product in Walmart, which is like every startup's dream. Yeah. Um, and they knew that they needed new packaging, which if you think about a traditional kind of market research path, they'd have to invest in consumer surveys, focus group different packaging. They'd have to maybe try different options. And you kind of, you think about that process and it's, you're looking at years, you're looking at just a massive investment that no early stage founder wants to make. So what did they do instead? They hopped on Facebook, set up a $200 advertising campaign, tested different packaging concepts, found one that worked, went on to launch in Walmart, are now in Walmart's nationwide. Awesome. Yeah. So it's it can be a really, really powerful tool, what you can do with very, very little budget. That's awesome. So let's assume we've already kind of invested in the wrong channels. Is there any way we can course correct for our founders out there. Do, so first and foremost, do not beat yourself up. And this is coming from somebody who 
early career blew $10,000 <laughs> in the span of three hours. Granted, this was not for my company. It was not for any of our clients' companies. I had a great employer that was like, run free, Ratika. It's okay, make mistakes. But what they told me ultimately was sometimes it happens, move on, figure out what you did wrong, don't do it again, and start small and go from there. Wonderful. And now Ratika and I have a challenge for all you viewers out there today. We'd like to know what are the channels that you've already invested in and maybe they didn't pan out and how you're going to rethink and explore some new channels. Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for tuning in to today's lesson and we're looking forward to reading your comments.